is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I'm back for another How to Kill a Kit with Style, Killing the Bingo Board. Um, we have done all the rows and all of the columns, so we have two diagonals left. So this is the first one. Um, I am starting in the left um, upper hand corner. It's a multi-word, multi-font title. Use a quote or a song, a free space, a large five by seven or more photo, and then triangles or hexagons. So I have avoided the triangles and decided, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to use them. I, I am, I am going to do the triangle thing. And so you can see there that I cut one big triangle, which initially when I cut it, um, it like the first cut, I was like, I don't know what, what it was I thinking? Um, so I'm going to do one big triangle. Um, my five by seven photo is my daughter's uh, spring uh, school picture, which is five by seven, which is perfect. And I'm trying to decide if I want it on this peach background or on the black. I ultimately decide to go with the black because she's wearing black jeans. And I think about doing it on the side. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, I know I want to back it in like a pink because in her shirt there's like a periwinkle a pink a white and like a green and so i was gonna do my 12 by 12 sheet and then i found this pink wood grain and it matches perfectly so um i'm just gonna do one single mat and i knew that i had to move it up a little bit because i wanted to make sure that you could see that it was truly a triangle <laughs> Because otherwise, you wouldn't get the triangle. But it just seemed weird. So I am going to decide to do it on the right-hand side. And then um, I have my Bramble Fox goodies um, from my Fox Fox. And I am putting this Brighter Days as part of my title. So... I don't really know if it counts as a as a quote or a, like a statement or a saying, I guess. So my title is Brighter Days Ahead, which you hear all the time, but um, I, I don't know. Okay, so tell me in the comments below, is it a quote or is it a saying? Or is a quote and a saying the same thing? Like, maybe I should look up the definition. And that was, that was my friend. She was just calling me and she wants to go on a walk. So we'll see if I can finish this voiceover before she gets here. Um, so anyway, I'm using the Mini Alpha from Days of Splendor from Pink Fresh Studio to spell out a head. Um, and then I am finally pulling in some of these Paper Studio florals. And... I don't know what it is about these floors, but I am having a very hard time using them. So um, I'm going to do two sets, one by the title and one in the upper right hand corner. I really liked that floral from Vicki Booten, but I didn't like how the two florals meshed or lack of meshing maybe really is um, the word for it. So I'm going to add two Bramble Fox butterflies. I'm going to do a purple one in the right upper hand corner. And then I'm going to pop one of these pink ones down. And it snuggles right in that gap um, between the title and the floral. And yeah, that totally makes me happy. So I am going to rough up the edges of this triangle. <laughs> And um, I'm going to adhere it to the top of the page. So this is basically the layout of, of my page. And um, I'm liking it. I find that large photos are so hard for me to scrapbook. I can do multiple photos. I can do, you know, little photos. But the bigger the photo, the more it, like, stresses me out. So, um, like, school photos... <laughs> They're just totally not my favorite to do, but you know, I love them and I want them documented and I purchase them. So, um, they definitely get done, but they're not my favorite thing to scrapbook. So, um, I'd 
love to know your thoughts on that. Like, do you love scrapbooking professional pictures or um, school photos? Or are you like me and do them and you like how they turn out, but you'd rather scrapbook somebody, something else? Not somebody else. I love scrapbooking my kids. <laughs> just, just something else. So I'm taking the backing off. I am going to adhere all of the acrylics with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. Um, and it holds phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. And um, I think for, I think for the, the flowers, I might use it too, just because I kind of have it in my hand. That's, that's very possible. I do end up um, using it on, on the little letters as well. Um, but I think I glue those off camera um, so you don't have to watch that. But you do have to watch me put them down, just not pick them back up and glue them and put them back down. So that's okay. And then um, I am using, for my sequins, I am using the Vicky's Rainbow from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And they are from the March 21 release, and they are gorgeous. And they have these beautiful purple sequins in them. So I am going to do a line of glue all the way around my triangle. And... I am going to use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and I am going to stick down the sequins with my Crystal Katana. And um, as I was going through, I decided maybe I just wanted a little more, a little other color. So I also pull the blue from there, but then I grab my Minty Meadows and I pull the pink from there. So, um, love 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 how that looks and I don't think I make you watch it all but I do make you watch a little bit of it a little bit of it so I did a pretty long strip of glue and honestly um, that may have been a little too long I was I was pretty pretty quick but um, by the time I was getting to the end it was kind of getting done so at this point, I felt like it still needed something, and I'm like, Julianne, what does it need? And she's like, it needs splatters. I'm like, oh, you are so taking after your aunt. So Amber, you can you can congratulate her. <laughs> so I did um, white splatters in Mr. Huey's calico white, and you'll see in the close-ups, it looks a little gray, but I think it, it's still good. And then I realized these poor butterflies did not have sequin trails. So I had to make that happen. Um, and I did that with just the purple sequins from the Vicky's Rainbow Mix. And there it is. So there's a close-up with my sequin trails. And it looks like I have a little dot of glue there. Looks like I missed one. <laughs> So I hope you are enjoying this. We have one more diagonal and then we will have killed the bingo board. So remember to wear your crown and I'll see you later. Bye.